The Advanced Power module offers three tabs to set up the tests. In the Test Settings tab, we specify general test settings. We select either constant test voltage or constant test current as test model and specify its value as V-test or I-test. The respective other value is calculated by the test module and limited by the parameter I-max or V-max. For our test, we select constant test voltage. In the Times section, the durations regarding shots and ramps are defined. The pre-incident duration applies to shots and ramps alike. We set the pre-incident duration to one second. It should be set to zero if you do not want any pre-incident output. The max incident time applies to shots only. It defines the maximum output time the test module waits to be sure that no trip or alarm occurs when the zone settings do not allow any. In our example, the trip time is one second, so we enter a longer time here. The reset time defines the duration of a reset state which is output between single shots as well as between ramps. Set it to zero if you do not want a reset state. In this case, shots and ramps directly follow each other. At the bottom of the Test Settings tab, define the output values for both the pre-incident and the reset state. It is important to ensure that the currents and voltages in both states are not within the trip range. A mirrored current is a current that is identical to the defined reference current in waveform, phase, and frequency, but with an inverted and possibly scaled amplitude. This feature works for shot tests and can be used when testing a particular function of a multifunctional relay with an integrated differential protection feature. In this case, the mirrored currents setting ensures that this differential protection feature does not cause tripping. The first current triplet of the CMC then represents the current fed into the differential protection relay, whereas the second current triplet represents the current leaving the differential protection relay. Note that you can also define a factor for CTs with differing ratios at both protection ends. This setting allows for positive or negative values less than or greater than 1. For testing the pickup value of the reverse power function, we define a power ramp in the Power Ramps tab. We choose the incident type L1, L2, L3, the ramp type Step, and the mode PQ. We define the beginning and end of the ramp in the From and To sections. We start from 80% until 120% of the expected pickup value. Don't forget to set the angle phi to 180 degrees to simulate the reverse direction of power. Delta can be entered as a pure power P with a value of 1% of the expected pickup value and the step duration should be longer than the inherent operating time of the relay. Note that the advanced power module offers a faster alternative that can be used for a quick check. When selecting the ramp type smooth, the delta value and the step duration are calculated automatically. Don't forget to click the Append Ramp button to add the ramp to the table. The ramp is also being displayed in the complex PQ plane. We add two more ramps to test the pickup value for different reactive power values. In the Assessment view, we add an assessment for each ramp. We start with the first ramp. The measurement takes place at the point in time in which the start signal changes from 0 to 1. We measure the power P. The nominal value is 5.2 Watt and the permissible deviation is 300 milliwatt. In the same way, we define the assessments for the remaining two ramps. In the last step, we will test the trip time with a shot test. You can define a shot either by simply clicking into the PQ plane or by entering the shot values manually. We will demonstrate the manual input option. As incident type, we choose L1, L2, L3 with a reverse power higher than the set value. The power can be defined as active, reactive, or total power with angle phi. The respective other fields are calculated automatically. Click Append Shot to add the shot to the table. 
The shot is also displayed in the PQ plane. In the Zone Assessments view, the assessment for the power shot is shown. It is defined automatically according to the settings from the test object. Now we can start the test. As usual, the test results can be viewed in the module itself and in the report.